Hi there, today we're going to be making an art piece, a collage piece that's inspired by the artist Henri Rousseau. And we're looking at the um, painting that he did called Tiger in a Tropical Storm. And so this is gonna be a fun collage where we're working on different papers and then adding them together to kind of create um, some di different depths in our picture. So we're kind of focusing on space within the picture. So the first thing that we're gonna do is start with an orange paper. If you don't have orange paper, you can um, you can just watercolor over some white paper and, and make it orange, or you could even, you know, if you've got some other type of scrap paper that's kind of an orange color, then uh, you can use that. I'm gonna be going straight to oil pastel, but I would like for you to use a pencil first. That way you can make corrections as you need them, and hopefully I won't need them. Um, so this way you can see what I'm doing just a little bit better. So the first thing that we're going to do is start right here in the center. We're gonna do a triangle, and it's gonna be kind of a uh, skinny triangle, actually. So we're gonna start with the the flat part on the top and the point will come down. So I'm gonna put my little dot right here in the middle so I know that I've got a pretty even um, triangle and then connect these two lines, center that out and connect here as well. Okay, then I'm going to draw two lines straight up, vertical lines. Make sure those are pretty even, okay, right there. And then I'm going to draw a line down right here. Okay, then we're going to come out to the side. We're gonna be working on the eyes. So I'm going to make a circle right here. Kind of touch the top of that line and one right here as best you can to make sure they're close in size and looks like mine's a little smaller on this side but that's okay um, and then we're going to do the pupil in the center and then a circle around the pupil that's where the color the iris will be okay now we're gonna go back down to the nose again. And of course you can stop this whenever you need to to kind of get caught up to what I'm doing. So we're gonna do two kind of partial circles. So it's not a whole circle, it's almost just maybe a little over half. Okay, so we're connecting the top of the nose right here down to the bottom of that line that we drew earlier. Okay, so we're connecting right here. So connect here, connect here, and I'm just going to go back in and darken a little. Okay, and then we're ready for the tongue. So I'm going to draw the little line in the center, and then it's just kind of a U shape around it. Okay. And then we're gonna do another kind of larger U-shape around the tongue. Okay, it's just gonna touch kind of the middle part right under here to about right here. Okay, and I wanna make sure I leave a little space right here. So I'm just gonna mark it, and then I know where to, to draw these. Okay, here, and I'm gonna connect on this side. There we go. And now we're ready for kind of the outside shape. So we're going to start the, um, the bottom of the head kind of right under um, this little section right here. So this is where I want the head to end. So I'm kind of making sure those are evened up a little bit and I want to leave a little space right above the eyes. So I'm gonna, I want to end here. Okay, so I'm gonna connect these two lines. There we go. 
go. And then I need to connect here to here and here to here. Now that's a pretty long ways right here. So if you feel like you need to kind of make a mark for yourself, I'm gonna kind of put a mark right here so I don't get too skinny. And I'm gonna do the same over here. Okay, kind of breaking it up a little bit will help um, so that it evens out a little bit. So there we go, connecting right here and then finishing off down here. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Connect and then connect. All right, now we have to add the ears in. So add just kind of a triangle shape as much as I can. I don't have just a lot of room up there. Triangle shape here, okay. And then I just need to add in, oh, I'm gonna do that in a minute. Um, let's see, we also, well, I've got my blackout. Um, just some little tiger stripes. So I'm gonna put a little bit, kind of a zigzaggy line right above each eye. So I'll go ahead and do that. One zigzag and a second one. And then we're going to do on the cheek right here. So got one, two, and then one here and one here. Okay, so now I'm ready for the color. Now you guys will be going from pencil to black. So whatever you have that you wanna use, you could use, I'm using an oil pastel. You see my fingers are a little dirty, um, but you could use a crayon, you could use marker, Sharpie, whatever you've got available. And then I'm going to color in the eye portion right here. So this part is green, some type of a green, or you could do maybe a kind of a brownish gold or something. And then right outside of the iris is the eyeball, so that part will be white. And cover on top. Now, you, yours will be a little bit better. I'm kind of probably getting a little bit of black from the oil pastel in there. Yours will be cleaner because, um, well, if you, if you do the color first and then do the black, it might help you keep your colors a little cleaner, especially if you're doing oil pastel. There we go. Okay, yeah, my eyeball's a little gray over there. That's all right. Okay. So now we need to color in the nose. So I'm going to do a pink. And if I'm doing oil pastel, I like to really press. Get that color in there really good. I'm going to add a little detail, the nostrils to the inside right here. And then I'm going to go to... Um, top of the mouth right here. This is all white. And then I'm going to think about the tongue. So I could either do pink like I did on the nose or I could do red or I could mix red and pink together a little bit. do red on mine and my tiger is just almost done I need one more thing what am I missing right here missing the whiskers so let's draw those I'm just gonna draw three I don't want to crowd it too much I'm gonna 
extra on mine just outside because I'm going to cut out, out mine. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can keep it a little shorter. Okay, and then my head of my tire is complete. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is make the two paws for um, kind of coming through some of the, the foliage, the leaves. And I want to make sure they're pretty big because it would kind of look silly if I had um, little teeny tiny paws and a great big head. So I want to make sure that I've got this whole space to make my um, paws on. Or if you need to use another piece of paper, that's fine. Um, and so I'm going to arch this kind of big here. The other side, and then I'm going to put three toes on each. Okay, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of white on each of the end of the toes. Just for a little variation there. It seems like, from my memory, it seems like most tigers have that white there. And then I'm going to do just a little line for his nails. There we go. And so now all I need to do is get my scissors and cut this out. And I need to be thinking about um, some green for the, the uh, background of my... Of my picture and maybe some other colors for some flowers or just a little splash of color here and there. Um, I just use purple, but you could mix it up and have several colors there. Maybe have sev several colors of green. Um, and same thing, I was a little bit boring on some of my leaves here. I've got a few that are shaped a little bit, but we could also do all kinds of shapes of leaves. Um, so be thinking about, about that. Okay, now we've got everything kind of cut out. We should have our tiger head and the paws. Hopefully you have some flowers cut out. And I, this time I cut out a few different varieties. Just kind of bump up the color just a little bit. And then um, I've cut out lots of different leaves. So I've got some really big ones. We've got some kind of grass-like leaves this time, and then just some traditional sized leaves. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of figure out where my head's gonna be. And with this picture, um, we're not gonna try to contain it inside of the paper. We're going to let it kind of um, flow over the different sides. So I'm, I'm gonna let my ears kind of, kind of poke up on the top a little bit and I'm just going to think about a few little things before I start gluing. Um, I've got a couple of these really big leaves so I'm going to want these um, maybe a little bit closer to the top of the head here. Okay so those are my first two big ones and then I've got a couple kind of palm leaves we'll put over here. And then I've got these paws. Let's see, I'm gonna lower these just a little bit. Okay. There we go, something like this. I don't wanna put too many things on all at once just because um, then it'll be hard to glue. But just kind of get a basic idea of where I want all my things. So let me flip these over and add some glue. So you could use regular glue or, oops, I put the, wrong, put the glue on the wrong side, so I'll put this over here. And then this side. Okay, and then my head. Okay, once I get this down, there we go. I may have 
have to hold it down just for a minute for it to stick really good. If you if you're doing oil pastel, you don't want to wipe it because it will smudge it. So I'm just kind of patting down. And then I'll get my little front paws in here. Okay. Let that one kind of go off the edge just a little bit right there. And then I just need to think about where I want some of these grasses to go. Let's see if I can lift and put some underneath. Let's see what that looks like. Let's make it look like he's kind of pushing pushing some grasses to the side. Bend that a little. regular leaf and a couple leaves in here just to kind of cover some of that. And yeah, there we go. Well, let's see, I don't really like that. Let's do hmm. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Okay. So let me just put in these real quick and and I can start thinking about where to put my flowers. And actually that can cover up some of these weird spaces that um, my leaves aren't covering. little flowers that might be good right in here where we've got that kind of weird space. Do that. And okay. I've got some of these little turquoise flowers. Finish gluing that on, but you kind of get the idea. And then, um, and then when you get done, just post a picture to uh, Schoology and uh, share it with your classmates and and also me.